Good morning, Pisces. How are you guys? Thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. I'm Jessica, and it's Trusting True to Row. All right. Thank you guys so much for the donations, all the love, all the support. I appreciate you guys so very much. All right. So let's see here, Pisces. What is the channel message that Spirit would like for me to give to Pisces? What is the message that you would like for me to give to Pisces? What is the message that you would like for me to give to my beautiful Pisces? Queen of Swords, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, there's someone here that is communicating someone's communicating, they're talking um, why do I feel like someone's communicating or talking here about you tell me more Someone's telling something in regards to you. Six of Wands in reverse. Someone's communicating and talking. Um, the Queen of Swords could be a lawyer. It could be a judge. It could be someone here in power or position. Someone here that makes orders or some type of rules or some type of set of obligations. I feel like there's someone communicating to someone else here about you. Um, this may be somebody here who you have a potential, like maybe you've had a, some type of relationship here with this person. Um, this could be like a family situation, right? Is what it looks like. Yeah. Some of you guys, this is in regards to maybe a child here, um, something that, that people share together. It almost, I'm getting this energy of like, okay, re relation, like we're all related. It's like someone's related here. You're related to a child. Someone else is related to a child. But then there's also like things governing the condition of the group, you know, the group of people. Like there's things like, there's things in order here. So there is someone getting some type of information um, they're being told kind of like, I don't feel like this is you. I don't know why I do not feel like this person is communicating to you. I feel like this person is communicating to the other person and the other person may have their pride and the, their pride may be in the way. The other person may feel like they're not getting victory in the situation. Okay. So I feel like someone's giving this person some type of instruction in regards to you. Okay. And I feel like this person isn't too proud of it. They're not proud of what they're hearing or they're not proud of what they're receiving or what this person may be telling them. Okay. Tell me more. Okay. So the queen, the king of swords came out here. Yeah. And then we have the fool in reverse. Yeah. So, okay. Someone's not, okay. So gosh, geez, someone is being told from several different people or like, it's like if they don't hear what they want to hear from one lawyer, one judge, one friend, one mother, one, like, if they don't hear what they want to, if they, they feel like someone's not telling them what they want to hear over our energy, seven of swords with the magician. So they feel like they're not hearing, they're not getting the answer that they want. So they're going to try to manifest another way here. They're going to try to go about getting the answers or getting some type of approval that they want. Like I said, two of swords with the nine of wands. Someone's not telling this person what they want to hear and they're getting very offended, you know? And they're feeling like their back is against the wall and they feel like it's them against you or you against them, something like that, right? So they're going to go and they're going to open up or talk to someone else and see if they can get the answers that they want here or that they desire because what someone is telling them is not something that they desire to see happen or and they're letting their pride and their ego get in the way and they're not feeling victorious here in this situation they also may feel like you know it's this energy where someone is just not following them 
what they're saying. So now you have the King of Swords. So they're going to get, they're going to try another someone else. They're going to try to go through another person, another situation. And what's happening is that they're getting the same fucking response. They're getting the same answer. You can't do this to Pisces or you're going to have to do it this way. And with the fool in reverse, it could be an Aries energy or a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius so far here. I feel like <sighs> they're going to take some type of risk here as well. <laughs> like they're going to try to take a risk. They're trying to do something. They're going to take a risk and they're not following the advice that these people are giving them. Tell me more. These are people in power and position. The people that are surrounding this person is in power and position. They have a lot of power. They have a lot of authority, um, but this person is not hearing it. They're not following it. They're letting their ego get in the way. They're letting their pride get in the way. And these people are giving them very good advice here, but it's just not what this person wants to hear in regards to you. So they're going to be acting out or acting something so much as kind of like recklessly or foolishly here. Tell me more. Oh, also, I'm hearing that they don't believe these people. They don't believe that what this judge or what this lawyer or what this uh, paralegal, whoever this person that's in position of power, they don't believe that these people know what they're talking about. They believe that these people are just like, <laughs> just being dishonest with them, but they're not. Tell me more. They're not. They're actually telling this person the consequences and the truth, but it's not what they want to hear. It's not what they want to hear. And, you know, and I feel like they're not, ha they're having a hard time transitioning you know, they're, they're choosing to stay in this, like, they're trying to, they want, like, I feel like they're not, like, they're not willing to give in, even though they feel like they're not winning. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to find another way here. My goodness. Yeah, Pisces. They're trying to find another way, a new idea in regards to you. They don't like it. They don't like it very much. Oh, goodness, Pisces, who are you dealing with? This person, this may have happened. This is past energy, too. So for some of you guys, this is coming up. This is past, present, future energy. I have to say this all the time in my reading because there are some people who just don't understand tarot. Like, this is in the past position, but for some of you guys, this is happening presently, right? So you'll know what your storyline is. You follow it. You'll know if you've already experienced this and this person already behaved this way, this may be something that they are repeating or doing, and this may be something that has already happened, and I'm going to move towards the present moment, and you're going to get more information. But this person feels like, you know, I just kind of really feel like there's a lot of ego here, a lot of pride, a lot of, like, um, selfish feelings. You know, only getting what they want, not really caring about what you want, not really caring about what's good for, you know, everyone involved, you know, um, especially you guys, if there's a child involved, like this is somebody who doesn't really care about any of that. They only care about what they want and they're very selfish and their ego and their pride is getting in the way of all of the orders that are in instructions that are being given to them. This person is getting so much instructions and they're getting so much warnings. And they're getting so much good advice in some type of direction, in some type of motion, like things are being like ordered for this person or they're telling this person what they need to do in regards to you, but they don't want to hear it. They don't want to do it and they don't, they're not going to do it. They're going to go, it's like they're going to do what they want to do. They're going to do what they want to do with the fool here. And it's a lot of like reckless type of energy, naivety, like just being very naive here. Um, hmm. After being warned, after being told the consequences, after trying to be instructed, what is the best thing to do towards Pisces? What is the best advice? What is the best action to take? They're still not willing to take those actions and take those steps. This is really just sad. What's going on in the present moment? Tell me more. Five of Wands. See, in the past, you had this lawyer, this judge telling this person, this is what you need to do in order to avoid the chaos, in order to avoid the drama, in order to avoid, you know what I'm saying, disruptions, like any type of drama in your life. Like they were trying to give this person some type of orders or instruction here to come out of conflict or drama here or to avoid something here in regards to you. But no, they let their ego and their pride get in the way <laughs> in regards to the action that they, they were taking towards you. And I do feel like, 
This is past energy too. Um, with this five of wands in reverse Pisces, I do feel like this person, they're trying to, it's like they're trying to avoid, this is so weird. They're trying to bypass and avoid several people to get what they want. It's like despite what people are been, has been telling them, they're, tr they're avoiding it. Okay, I'm hearing that this person, it feels like they're making an enemy. They're making enemies passively. It may not be aggressively. They may not be doing something aggressively at first, but I feel like they're making enemies here in a very passive way. People that once look up to this person, maybe follow this person. Um, maybe these people may have really kind of like put this person on a pedestal. Maybe this person is somebody here who is in the, uh, uh, a high sector here with these other people. I feel like they're they're making them, they're making enemies here, and they don't even realize it. Or they may do. They may not care because it looks like they don't care. Yeah, this person looks like they don't care. Oh wow! Tell me more. I'm hearing somebody say, hey, you're going to make an enemy out of these people. Yeah, King of Cups here. You're dealing with somebody who was highly respected, highly loved. I don't know. This feels like a, this feels like you're dealing with a, a like somebody here in the law. Like maybe they're in the like, maybe there's somebody here who was like very popular, uh, maybe a leader. Maybe they're in like politics or maybe they're, you know, like, because the King of Cups with the Five of Wands feels like the good old boy. So like you're dealing with somebody here who people really loved, you know, people, people really love, um, they admired this person. This person is admired and they're really loved. And I feel like the five of wands let me know that some people, whatever the situation that may have occurred between you and this person or that is occurring, I feel like this person may have gotten to the point where it feels like they got the big head. It feels like they got the big head and they may feel like, you know, they're not entitled to do something or, you know, they're not they're They feel like they're above something here when it comes to you. They're above something here. They may feel like they are better than you in a way and they don't. They don't have to do something here. And I do feel like they do want to resolve something, but they're wanting to do it like so weird. Like they're wanting to do it through. Ugh. I want to explain this correctly. This is so weird. It's like somebody here who wants to come off as if they are, they are the person that are, is not creating the drama. They're they're doing something very passively. They're trying to come off as if they're not the person that's creating all the drama, but really they are. But they're the way that they're being shown to other people is that they're not the one that's creating all the drama, but they are the one that's creating all the drama. That's all. That's the only way I can explain it. Like. Because this person is like loved and admired in some way or respected or well, uh, well, like a lot of like gratitude and love here for this person. Um, but guy, dang, they got a big ass ego. And I feel like um, they're proud. They're too proud to maybe admit something. Hmm. Tell me more. Yeah, the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. In the current moment, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody here. This feels like someone who's in like a law. Like they're in like, oh, I keep saying it right. Maybe it's like law and order. Or this person may be like a, I know I'm saying it wrong, but I feel like this person is somebody who works like 
in the government. That's what I'm saying. With the emperor and the king of swords, I feel like this person is like a government official, police officer, maybe the hell, maybe they eat, they're, they're a freaking lawyer themselves, or I feel like they're highly respected. They're highly admired. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the six of wands and the emperor here, they're highly loved. And they may be not wanting to do something to you. Oh my gosh. I just heard that this person has to come forward to you and they may have to do something that they don't want to do in order to make their image look good or in order to make themselves, you know, loved again or, or you know, like uh, squeaky clean from this drama or conflict. And they're being ordered to do something here towards you or say something or make a statement, something like that. And I feel like the heart of how they're feeling in regards to you is that they have some type of responsibility or duty here to you with the six of pentacles, maybe to give um, something to you or some type of equal give and take here towards you. Yeah, they're going to have to make some type of judgment here, uh, final judgment to maybe like compromise here with you, okay, to have an equal give and take here with you because I'm telling you like right now I feel like the empress energy is you. I feel like you're coming off as someone to be loved, respected, admired too. Your image is just as good as this person. If it's not already, then this reading is going to be, if you're in the, if you're in the messy part of the situation, you'll see that this is going to be your future. It's going to move towards this. But I feel like now you're, you're holding some type of title too, you know, through your, through your own profile, through your own, you know, through the, your own physical, whatever physically that you're uh, being shown or that's being shown to people or what people are seeing now. So this is crazy. So, <laughs> wow. This person has an obligation or a duty here to you. And they feel, I feel like they know it. They realize it. But whatever it is that they're being asked of, whatever it is that they're being told to do, this person doesn't like to be told what to do. So whatever it is that they're being, uh, commun whatever is being communicated towards this person, they're just like, it's like that flight or fight response. Like they may want to oppose it, do something their way with the fool here in reverse and be reckless about the situation, even though they know that they have some type of responsibility or duty. So with the page of pentacles here, yeah, <laughs> this is it. Like they don't want to plant some type of seed here. They don't want to, Oof. this person, this is somebody who feels like they don't owe you something. They don't owe you this, but they may be feeling like they're being told that they do, you know? They don't feel like they owe it to you to do something. And they may also feel like they shouldn't have to do it. They may have been also like ignoring something here in regards to you. But I feel like the Ace of Swords is law. Like it's law and order, it's truth, is is what needs to be done, is clarity, um, it's an opportunity here, you know. It's an opportunity with the Page of Pentacles that might really help them in some way. Okay, maybe even financially. It's almost like someone feels kind of ruined or the Six of Wands energy is, you know, they don't have this, they don't have the group of people following them or they're no longer looked at as a leader or someone like, you know, like uh, that's in a position here to lead. And I don't know what you may have done to this person or what may have transpired or the situation, but... They are in a position here where they have to kind of like plant some type of seeds here with you, communicate with you, make some type of promise and make good on something here with you that's tangible, something that can be respected, valued. You know, this is like, this is way past their, like this is ha them having to kind of like put whatever it is that they want on a back burner or put it aside, put their feelings aside here. And show up or do something in a certain way to kind of like seek your approval, to get your approval. Tell me more. Whether it's contact you, call you. Yeah. Oh my God. I knew this was it. Page of swords. Like I was about to say that. Okay. So yeah. Okay. 
oh, in the current moment, Pisces, this person is really like spying on you. I feel like they're, wow. I feel like this person is spying on you. I feel like they're, they may be trying to look into you. They're, they may be like looking at, you know, your social media. They may be really thinking about like maybe texting you or calling you, but then they like, they really convince themselves that that's not something that it's not a good idea. It's not something that they should do. It's weird. I feel like this person is making themselves not like you. They're making themselves not like the situation, you know. They're making this harder for themselves, is what I'm hearing. They're really making this harder for themselves. Hmm. What is this? This is like... Okay. This is like gossip. So... I think what they're doing too, they're like, they're too much focused on how it's going to look uh, to maybe other people or how it's going to look. They're too focused on how it's going to look and what people are going to say, what these people are going to say, you know? It's like they're, they, they don't even, that's the sad thing, like they care more what people think or they care more about what people would say instead of just like doing something right, doing something that they know is responsible of them or right of them to do. They care too much about what these people are going to think of them or what they're going to say here just by them doing the right thing or taking responsibility or showing um, showing that they actually care or they actually have real emotions and feelings. Like they're letting their ego ride the situation. Tell me more. Yeah, the world is in reverse. That's what I'm saying. This person is definitely spying on you and they will be like looking at you on social media with the Ace of Cups here. And I feel like the more they stare at you, the more they they look at you, the more they see you, the more they look at your picture or the more they look at something that they hold or value or have um, in front of them, whether it's a picture, maybe it's a message or a text message, the more they reread this, the, the, the more they kind of like continue to put energy into it, they're going to start like feeling some type of way. They're really going to start developing feelings and start getting in their feelings about you. Um, they're going to be like really thinking like, okay, maybe there is a possibility we could have a reunion. They're going to be looking at the possibilities and how the situation could be. Um, they're going to be getting in their feelings and their emotions. And I feel like these feelings are going to reawaken or rethaw or whatever you want to say. Like they're going to reawaken here. Yeah. And I do feel like if it's not like some people get on the comments uh, and they're so sickening, they're like, oh, I can't look at any of my social media. OK, well, I'm sure you got some old text message that this person that you've sent to this person. This person is revisiting it. They're re they're looking at this. And I feel like they're looking at it intensive in, with intent and like women that cause themselves to be angry about it. And they kind of convince themselves that this is not what they want to do. But in the next moment, they see the emotion and the love that you, because you may have poured yourself, you may have put yourself out there or really been trying to put yourself out there, Pisces, towards this person, maybe trying to have a better relationship or a better connection. So you may have been trying to put yourself out there or be, um, be a friend or be nice. And they probably wouldn't give you the chance. They were constantly letting their ego get in the way, their ego get in the way. And I feel like they may be rereading something of yours or, um, seen something about you with the world here okay maybe some of you guys may have like i don't know the world here is like it could be so many different aspects of social media like some people feel like okay well they didn't they, they have no access to my page well dumbass if you have a fucking if you have an account where you're socially dating or you're on a social dating website I guarantee you they could be looking at that too, but not saying anything. So be mindful where you think your pictures are and where you think your pictures are not. Um, because people, there's real live stalkers out here and there's real life people that really know how to get information and they, they, you know, they're on, you're not the only one on a website. So this could be your picture anywhere. You know, I just really feel like that. I feel like this person is really like looking into you and they want to say something, but they're not. You know, because they, they're kind of like, and it's so weird, their emotions, they, their emotions start flooding back in, but they won't allow themselves to just accept it. It's just sad. They won't allow themselves to accept that they still care. 
They care about what they may have done to you. They care about how the situation may have transpired. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Whew. You know, I feel like this person is really wanting to lay their burdens down here in regards to the situation. Okay. I feel like this situation has been really, has really took, took a toll on this person. Honestly, Pisces, this, this situation has really kind of like, um, what's the word? You may not feel like it. You may not know it. You may not see it. But this situation has really taken a toll on this person mentally, emotionally, and physically. Okay? And I feel like this person doesn't feel... Like they have the strength here to go on or they don't have the strength to keep some type of charades up or shenanigans. So I do feel like with the three of pentacles, they, they may be, again, this has to do with like um, someone like, you know, it feels like a place where someone here may be giving someone orders. Like this person is stepping on the stool. This has to do with like someone being in a higher position here. You know, like they may be really contemplating with the four swords how they want to fix the situation or work on this situation. <laughs> I also feel like they're trying to find another way without doing it. You know what? They're really trying to avoid the easy way out here. The easy way of making this right, they're trying to make it difficult for themselves and they're going to realize that they're making it difficult for themselves. Because it's like, okay, I'd rather not say shit the Pisces you are. I'd rather not even you know, be vulnerable or give this or do this or blah, 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 blah. I want to find another way to do it. But really, the easiest way is a way that, the easiest way to do this is just come to you or do the right thing. Do something here that is going to make them have to come from an emotional place and they don't want to do that. But they are seeing that this is a burden. And they kind of want to like, they want to, they're going to want to like try to come out of this drama or this conflict here. Yeah, death. Death is in reverse, see? But they're avoiding it. They're avoiding change. They're avoiding real change. They're avoiding transitioning, moving away from the situation. They're just not going to, they're, they're not doing it. <laughs> they're avoiding real change here. They don't want to do this. I, like, this person, they're, it's almost like they're saying they will do anything anything like please tell me like i'm seeing like a movie scene where they're saying please i'll do anything i'll do anything uh but just not that <laughs> just not that please not that i'll do anything you want me to do just you know just please don't make me do this don't don't this there has to be another way there has to be another way yeah Ego, pride, king of wands. And you could be dealing with an Aries, you guys, or a Leo or a Sagittarius, a Scorpio here, emphasis on Scorpio. But literally, I have like all the signs. But in the heart of this reading, we have Libra, we have Taurus, we have Aries. Maybe it could be like a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Maybe a fixed sign here with the Scorpio energy here, Leo, um, Taurus, and Aquarius. Yeah, like fixed signs heavy in this energy too. I feel like Pisces, like, whew, you're dealing with somebody who is like really stubborn, very hard-headed, very hard-headed, okay? And they may feel like they can buy, like, they may feel like this is somebody who feels like they can buy them way, they can buy themselves out of situation or they can convince people to do what they want or um, they're in a position where they don't have to listen. And it's just, it's really, it's really sad. Tell me more. It's so weird. Cause in this reading, it does show me that this person did have a moment of weakness. Yeah. Will of fortune in reverse. And then the overall energy is the nine of swords with the four of cups with the lover. So what is that telling you? Hell, let's choose the chariot too. This person, their overall energy, like seriously, they're having anxiety. They're stressed out. They're worried. They're going through the dark night of the soul. And guess what? All because they're not willing to accept an offer from you. Maybe even a plea. You know, like, they're not willing to be emotional. 
accept some type of emotional offer. The lovers in reverse, they're not, they're not trying to be on, like, they're not trying to be compassionate. You know what I'm saying? They're wanting, they're disconnected from you. And I feel like with the chariot, they're not choosing a new direction. So the five of pentacles is the result of this. They're feeling left out in the cold. This may be affecting them financially. This may be affecting their position, high rankings, whatever it is. Like, you know, this is affecting them. All because they don't want to choose a different direction or different approach. All because the lovers, they don't want to make a major decision, a very big decision here. Okay. That could you that could unify you and this person. They're missing these opportunities after opportunities, and they're causing themselves more stress, more anxiety, more worry, um, more depression. And look at this. This is the first card out, the Queen of Swords. This is them looking at the Queen of Swords. They have some type of direction, order, or position. There's someone communicating, telling them, hey, if you don't do this, then this shit is going to continue to go on and on and on. You know, it's going to continue to go on. It's like a chapter that's not closing. It's like a never ending, you know what I'm saying? Like a never ending story, like with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Like this person is, and like someone is really trying to let this person know, like, hey, you're causing yourself a lot of bad karma here. Or, you know, they're trying to give this person the truth. Like, hey, this is your fortune. This is your future. This is your asset. You know, this is, this is, this is what you're doing. You're causing yourself unfortunate events to happen all because the King of Wands, you're not willing to budge. Oh, goodness. This person is really angry with you, with the King of Swords in the near future. Um, but the sad thing about it is they're, they're making themselves feel this way. You know, you can make yourself feel an emotion that is not really as intense you can intensify it yourself i feel like this person is kind of like still very much angry with you um still very much have bad things to say about you um they can't find anything positive to say and honestly that type of energy is not yielding what they want it's not yielding uh what it is that they desire what they want here in the near future it's like bad luck, bad karma. And unfortunately, Pisces, you're going to continue to be, you know, this is going to continue to be a part of something that you may have to deal with. Because um, it's a lesson here, definitely. Like you are definitely someone's lesson and they are your lesson. Or you were, yeah, you were their lesson. They were your lesson. You were their lesson. So it's like, this is something that's ongoing. And it's going to continue to go to, to like move towards like the situation. Um, and you may learn your lesson and they may be still in a position here of kind of like, you know, a downfall. They're spiraling down. I feel like there are, things are not changing for them with the death card here. Things may not even be getting better. Um, and I feel like the 10 of the 10 of wands here is like, they're still like being the victim or playing the victim here, um, to external things here, external forces that they have very much control over. But they're saying that they're making it as if these things are happening to them because of you, when really these things are not happening to them because of you. It's happening because of the things that they're not willing to change with the death and the will of fortune, the things that they're not willing to change. Attitudes, behaviors, beliefs, okay? Whatever it is that they're doing to you. This is crazy. This person gets real reckless here. Um, they get real reckless and it feels like impulsive and reckless and they do something here, but they do it out of spite with the page of swords and then it backfires on them and then it doesn't, it, it's not helping them. It's literally like causing more issue for them. It's affecting their world. Like the more things that they do impulsively here and recklessly here to you, it continues to affect their world. It continues to affect their future, their world, them. It continues to make them more vulnerable in this 3D, in this world. Um, and even to outside factors, external factors, spirits, like, it's like there, I literally feel like this person is going to be a prisoner here to the spiritual world and the physical world if they don't start to change something here. So that means they're going to be attacked. Like things are going to come at them that are out of their control 
because of things that they're not doing that's within their control.